Hi everyone, this is Donna, the Technology and Media Librarian at Upper Arlington Public Library. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the process of downloading ebooks or digital audiobooks to the OverDrive app. This video covers the download process for the OverDrive app on a smartphone or tablet. That includes anyone who's using an Apple mobile device, an Android mobile device, or a Kindle Fire tablet. If you're not planning to use OverDrive for a smartphone or a tablet, for example, if you're using an e-reader or if you're planning to use your desktop or laptop computer, I've linked to instructions from OverDrive in the video description to help get you started. So be sure to check out the description below the video. We've also created videos just for Kindle users to walk you through the process of borrowing and transferring books to your Kindle device. And of course, if you have questions, you can always contact our media services department. Our contact information is also in the description and at the end of this video. This is what you'll need to get started. Make sure that your mobile device is powered on and it has its Wi-Fi connected. If your device app store requires you to enter a password, have that password ready. And finally, you'll need your Upper Arlington Public Library card number. Let's get started. First, visit your device app store. In this video, I'm using an iPad, so I'm on the Apple App Store. Tap on your search feature and use the search to find the OverDrive app. Once you've found the app in your results, tap on Get or tap on this cloud icon to install it to this device. After the app has been installed on your device, locate the app from your home screen or the list of available apps and tap to open. The first time you download the OverDrive app, you will be prompted to sign up so that you can authorize the OverDrive app. Sign up using your library card number. If you plan to use the OverDrive app on multiple devices, make sure you always use the same library card for this step in the process. We'll find the Upper Arlington Public Library and we'll select the library in the Digital Downloads Collaboration. Then you'll sign in by selecting Upper Arlington Public Library from this list and you'll enter your card number to authorize the app. Once you've authorized the app, we still need to add a library. Tap on Add a Library and in the search field, enter the name of your library, Upper Arlington Public Library. Tap Search and select Upper Arlington Public Library from the list. For library systems, select Digital Downloads Collaboration. The Upper Arlington Public Library belongs to this digital consortium for OverDrive. After you've added your library, you're directed to the Digital Downloads Collaboration home screen, and you're ready to start borrowing and browsing through the eBooks and audiobook collection. You can search for a book by tapping on the search button. Here, you can enter a title or an author's name using the keyword search. You can also use the advanced search button and here you can apply filters to your search so that you can pre-select by format, by availability, by audience, and more. You can also browse by collection by tapping on the collections button. Here you can find ebooks or audiobooks that are available now and you can find new ebooks or audiobooks. You can also tap on subjects to search by subject and then narrow down your results by format or availability. I always like to point out the filters on your results page, especially those for availability and for formats. That way you can find an ebook or an audiobook more easily if you've searched by subject and you can find a book or audiobook that's ready for instant borrowing. When you have found a book that you'd like to check out, tap on its cover, and then tap the borrow button. If you're not already signed into your account, you will be prompted to sign in now. Select your library from the drop-down list and enter your card number, then tap sign in. Once you've signed in, you'll go back to the book detail page and here you can tap on the borrow button. Once you've selected borrow, you'll also be prompted to select a loan period for your book. You can choose from this drop-down menu of 7, 14, or 21 days. Your loan will automatically expire after the loan period ends. After you've selected your loan period, tap Borrow, and you'll be prompted to download a copy of the book. 
Here, you're going to tap on the Download EPUB eBook button. If you were downloading an audiobook, this button would read Download MP3 Audiobook. EPUB and MP3 are the formats that are compatible with your device if you're using the OverDrive app. Do not select Read Now with Kindle. That'll send you to an Amazon account login page where you'll then transfer the book to a Kindle device. If you select Read Now with Kindle, you will not be able to download the EPUB eBook edition, so make sure that's the button that you tap. After you've selected Download EPUB eBook, your book or your audiobook will begin downloading. To read a copy of your book, switch to your app's bookshelf. Tap on the hamburger menu in the top left corner of your screen and tap on bookshelf. Your book is available on the app bookshelf and to open it, simply tap on the cover and you can begin swiping. If you want to return a book before its loan period expires, you can, from your bookshelf, tap and hold lightly on the cover of the book until you see the return to library button. If you'd like to return your book early, tap on that button. If you see waitlist over a book cover, that means the book is not currently available for you to borrow. However, you can place a hold on the book and you'll be notified when your hold is ready to borrow. To place a hold, tap on the book cover and tap the place a hold button. Once you've done that, you'll be asked to fill out the form with the email address where you'd like to be notified when your hold is ready to borrow. Fill out the form and then tap the place a hold button. And that's it. That's how you borrow eBooks or digital audiobooks on OverDrive. Now that we've reached the end of the video, I do want to mention that the OverDrive app is not the only app you can use to borrow eBooks or audiobooks from the OverDrive collection. There's also the Libby app from OverDrive. Libby is compatible with Apple, Android, and Windows 10 devices, and you can also use it from your computer's web browser. You may be asking yourself, what's the difference? The content is exactly the same. You'll find the same ebooks and audiobooks on the Libby app as you will on the OverDrive app. The big differences are in the ways that you'll navigate the apps. Libby is set up so that the library and your bookshelf are side by side, and it also doesn't require you to log in each time you check out a book. We've put together a series of Libby videos for you to watch so you can decide which app has the layout and style that's right for you. Thanks for watching.